Hello everybody. Today we are installing the ABAP Cloud Developer Trial 2022 SP01 on a Windows system. SAP and the team behind provide a Docker container for this purpose. You'll find the most important links in the video description. We start with installing the Docker for Windows. And here we have some requirements. One of them is we need the Windows Professional or Enterprise Edition. So we download the client Docker Desktop Installer. After the download, we go to the download folder, double click on the exe file. And we do the, oh, here we check the two checkboxes. And here I have speed up this a little bit, the installing and the unpacking. Okay, the installation is succeeded. We can close this and now we go to the Docker Hub. And here we click on Overview, then on Windows. And the container needs at least 20 gigabyte of memory. My system has uh, 32 gigabyte of memory. And the thing is, if we start the Docker for Windows, the system uh, reserves automatically 50% of the whole memory. And in my case, it would be 16 gigabyte. But for this container, we need 20. So we have to create this file .wsl config in the user folder. So I have already created this uh, file. We see here the notepad, the three entries, the three lines. And you save this file in the users folder so for example if you are logged in in the windows system with the user tom you copy this file in the folder users and in the folder tom okay so next step is we pull the docker image for this we can copy this docker pull string and we open a Windows PowerShell window. Then we copy this string or we click on the button copy. Then we paste this in the Windows PowerShell and we have to replace the tag name placeholder with the current tag. So we scroll up here, go to the folder tag, to the tab tag and here we see the tag is ABAP trial 2022 SP01. And now we see we can copy this whole link with the right tag. Okay, so let's do this and let's replace this string with the with the newer one. Okay, then we press enter. Okay, yes. Sure, we have to start the Docker desktop before with double click on the icon here on the desktop icon okay my fault so we accept then we have to log in with an account so i pick one i pick my account i have already a, a docker and docker account continue okay and then here i continue with google Okay, okay, a little survey. Okay, hobby projects and continue. And now the Docker desktop client is up and running. We are logged in, okay. And now we can bo uh, go back to the Windows PowerShell window and we start the Docker pull command again. And now we see some stuff is downloaded and this take a while so i have increased the speed here a little bit 
and you have to wait so long that you see here another input uh, possibility. So next we create the Docker container. So we click here on other. We copy this whole command line here. Then we have to replace the placeholder for tag name again. We can copy this here from above. And we add here another command called agree to SAP license. We paste this here. OK. And then we press enter. OK. Some warning. But we see here HDB starting. HANA database is starting and we can we see this on the Docker desktop client 2. More and more memory is allocated. This is our image. And this is the container. So this takes some time. I have increased the speed here again. And after that, we see in the Windows PowerShell some messages, for example, application server starting and so on. OK, and now all services have been started. OK, and now we can have some fun. OK, so the system is up and running and now we have to we need to connect to the system. And for this, we need the SAP GUI. You can download this from the developer trials and download. You find the link in the video description. Then search here for SAP GUI and you can here download the SAP GUI for Windows. I have already done this on this system. If you want to know how to do this, you can watch a former video of mine. I will link it in the video description. So now I start the SAP GUI. And OK, there are some systems. We click here on new system, next. Then descriptions, description, you can choose what you want. I pick here the tag name, for example. So ABAP trial 2022 SPO1. Then the application server 127.0.0.1, instance number 00, system ID A4H. Then next. Then next and finish. Okay, this is our new system, ABAP trial 2022 SP01. Double click on the system. Then the client is one and the user is um, developer. And for every Docker container, we have a new password. So we have to go back to the um, Docker Hub. Then we find user and passwords. And here we see the newest entry and the newest password for the ABAP Cloud developer trial. OK, and we see first, OK, license expiration date. If you want to know how to renew the license, I show you this on this video. OK, so here we are. The new SAP ABAP Cloud Developer Trial. Now we can check um, the product version and the installed products. So we click on the button here in the middle. Then we see the in installed software component versions and the installed product versions. Yes, pretty nice. Yes, and from my point of view, this is a very 
easy and quick way to create an ABAP system for practicing. Yes. So if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Also write something in the comments. I always like to read them. Take care and see you on the next video.